Good day from the Great White North. This is Freaky P, the Crazy Kinnick, and welcome back to my base once again here on Brodius 2. And uh, today, uh, the goal is to make ourselves fully and completely sustainable. So that way, everything's here. We won't ever have to go anywhere else, or at least rarely have to go anywhere else. So uh, first things first, what am I going to need? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, we're going to be building some gas tanks, obviously. So we need rubber, copper, and steel. So we'll just grab a 50 here. Um, okay, we'll do it the hard way. <laughs> rubber, copper, and steel. So, uh, the copper's here. Where are you, copper? Here you go. Uh, we'll grab a nice 50 just to make sure. And a little rubber to help along. Alright. So we're going to build two more. Um, gas tanks, I guess. Is, uh, that is what they are. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, and this time we're going to be putting them this way. Facing this way. So. Let's get that going. Um, do, 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 do. Gas tanks. All right, so yeah, right about. Uh, let's back her up a little bit. Do we have to be? I, I swear to God, we got to be within that, uh, within the uh, area of the uh, laboratory. So we're gonna build the first one here, I guess. I don't get me wrong; it's not pretty, but it'll do. It will do. All right, so. First tank is complete. Uh, let's build the second one. Obviously, we're going to have to probably build it here now. That pisses me off a little bit, but, I mean, hey, it's not the end of the world. All right, so let's get ourselves another gas tank. Right here. And boof. There we go. We have another gas tank. All right, well, the only thing missing is, guess what? Gas. So uh, let's go get ourselves some barrels. And uh, t -t 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 -t, they should be here. Here they are. Let's, uh, it, well, let's add them to our backpack first. We'll equip them after. Um, t -t -t -t. I hope everyone enjoyed the, the uh, previous episode. I wanted to make sure you guys saw all the new updates that were coming to the game. And, uh, because, boy, am I looking forward to them. And I, I hope they look exciting to you. Um, still have a few questions on a couple of them, but, you know, time will tell what will happen. Anyhow, now we got our barrels. It's time to go get ourselves some gas. So, for this, um, you know what? We really don't need the, uh, the spaceship. We're going to use the hover bike, especially since we got gas now, so. Come on, baby, let's go for a ride. Okay, so obviously the first gas we're going to go get is um, nitrogen. Now that way we'll never have to worry about needing any fuel for the hover bike again, or gain water for that matter, because... We're going to be getting some oxygen next. Alright, so let's equip all of, all of these. And uh, I believe this one is nitrogen. I'm not 100% certain. Oh, sorry about that. We'll find out in a tick. Hold on. Okay, so one, two, three, four. It is nitrogen. Looks good to me. So let's fill up all these barrels. Because uh, like I said, after that, we'll be able to make our own gas. We'll never have to worry about, you know, really going to get gas. Um, we know where the hydrogen is. We know where the nitrogen is. So, and we know where the oxygen is. The only thing I haven't found is the chlorine. Um... I can't remember what else. Fluorine or fluorzine, something like that. 
But I believe that's on Aziel, so we may have to wait to find those. All right, come on, guys. Get with the program. <laughs> Work with me here. All right, so here we go. Well, we're going to fill up these last three, head back to base, and put these in our brand new gas tank to store away for whatever future needs we need them for. All right, so we got that. Let's uh, head back to our base. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Uh, as you can tell, I don't go that way very often. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. So where is that? There we go. We're just going to get out and store it in this gas tank. All right, yes, please, I'd like to very much. So I'm going to add these, and then we're going to head back and get ourselves some oxygen. So I'll see you in just a flash. Okay, folks, so after seven barrels, it comes up to 58%. So uh, next what we're going to do is get some oxygen, because it seems like that's pretty much what it's going to come up to for this one, too. He is 58%. Uh, I was hoping for a little better, to be honest, but hey, you know what? I'll take what I can get. It's not like we got far to go. It's not, you know, the end of the world. It's just a little nitrogen. Okay, so where the hell's the oxygen? Because <laughs> I just cannot remember. Uh, oxygen. Here we go. Okay. So a Lynx driver up here. Here we go. All right, let's fill her up, please. Hello. All right, here we go. Fill her up. <laughs> so we're going to fill up all the barrels of oxygen. Now, as you may or may not know, oxygen, when mixed with hydrogen, creates water. And obviously, when you're stuck on a, an alien planet, you know, uh, water is quite important next to oxygen <laughs> and guess what you get both from this so the only thing is um since i've lost my oxygen tanks i haven't been able to find a way to remake them um and since i don't have them anymore um i i don't know if there's a way to fill them up so um i i can't say hey yeah just take your oxygen tanks Show by the oxygen vents and just fill her up. Um, I don't know if that'll work, so I don't want to say it will. Um, but give it a shot. I mean, you got nothing to lose. Um, except just don't do like me and lose your oxygen tanks. But um, to be honest, I don't know if they're going to keep them in the game. It doesn't look like it. Since I lost them, I haven't heard nothing about it. So you know what I mean? There, there's... I haven't seen any mention of any uh, oxygen tanks that we're going to need or anything. So, take it like it is. Okay, so there's our thing. We're going to head back to our base and fill up the uh, tank again. We'll see if it does the same. And brings us up to, what was it, 58? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, so I'm just adding in the last few barrels of oxygen into the gas tank. And we're going to see if it's going to come out like the uh, hydrogen and come out to 58%. Uh, don't get me wrong, I hope it's more, but I wouldn't mind if, you know, it's the same across the board. At least you know what to expect. So uh, let's check it out and see what it gives. So it is 58%. That is actually great. So now we can judge pretty much all the gases the same. So we know that uh, seven barrels will give us 58% uh, every time. So let's get to know 14 barrels. 13, 14 barrels will give you 100. So that is fantastic to know. Um, and like I said... 
technically right now we are fully sustainable um don't get me wrong i'd love to put up some walls but realistically uh walls aren't gonna do that much <laughs> I mean, you got to think of it logically. Even if I can put up walls, there's gaps, there's mountains. And that's usually where these mothers come from. It's from the parts that you'd expect them not to. You know? And it's always a way to avoid your goddamn walls. So, you know what? It's like here. Here's a good example. Let me turn some light on. It's like if I was going to put a wall... Okay, I could put it up to here, and then what? Because they don't do, I think, too good on mountains last time I checked, or hills, or whatever. So this would all still be open. I might be able to go up the long way. Um, but that's a lot of resources wasted for nothing. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind closing off these open spots. You know. And um, over here, or there. Close all this off. You know, that way, I, I don't want to make it easy for them to come in. But no matter what, they're always going to have spots like this right here. Where there's going to be hills and we won't be able to put walls up. It's a shame, but that's the way the big cookie crumbles. But you know what? Like I said, we are pretty much fully... Well, no. We are fully sustainable. Uh, we can create water. We can create food. Uh, we can create uh, vehicles, weapons, anything we need. Structures, buildings, uh, tools, um, you know, machines, whatever. We can build wherever we need. So, for now, this is great. And uh, it looks like the next step will be expansion. So, anyhow, that's for the next episode, like I mentioned. So, on that note... Thank you guys for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, then smack the like button, lay down your comments, and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel by clicking on channel logo below. And until the next video, this is Freaky P saying, Good day.